What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 24 of the tutorial series on Amazon API Gateway Tutorial. In part 23 of this tutorial series, I have taken you through on how to get or fetch messages from the SQS queue using API Gateway. And now in this tutorial, I will take you through on how to delete the message after fetching it from the SQS queue using API Gateway itself. So let's get started. So the very first thing we will start with is that the modification of the IAM policy, uh, which we have created in part 21 and modified in part 22 of this tutorial series so that the API can delete the message from the SQS queue, right? So basically we need to give permission to API gateway to delete the messages from the SQS queue. So for that, navigate to IAM management console. Now, once you are within IAM management console, click on policies from the left panel, search for the policy that we have created in part 21 of this tutorial series that is SQS underscore API gateway. Now here click on edit policy, click on JSON. Now here we will add one more line within action that is comma double quotes sqs colon delete message. Correct. And once you are done with this, click on review policy and save changes. Now again here we don't need to modify the IAM role since this policy is attached with the IAM role so it will be updated automatically. Now, once you're done with this, navigate back to API Gateway. Click on resources from the left panel. Select the resource that we have created. So in my case, it's slash SQS. Now here we are going to create a new method, a new delete method. So click on action, say create method. Here I will select delete and click on this tick mark. Now here we need to perform some configuration. So with an integration type, it's AWS service, select the AWS region. So in my case, it's US East one AWS service is going to be SQS. We will leave AWS subdomain as it is. Now here the HTTP method is going to be delete because here we want to delete the messages from the queue. So that's the reason HTTP method is delete. Now with an action type, it's going to be use path override. So here within path override, it's going to be the account ID followed by the queue name. So let's navigate to SQS and we will copy it from there. Select the SQS queue and I will copy this. That is path override value and paste it over here within execution role uh, it's going to be the arn of the iam role that we have created in part 21 of this tutorial series so i will copy and paste that We will leave content handling and use default timeout as it is. And once you are done with this configuration, say save. In order to delete the message from the SQS queue, uh, we will require some identifier to say that we want to delete this message. So we need to pass on some information uh, regarding the message that we want to delete, right? So here we will pass on the receipt handle as a query string parameter. So we need to configure that. So click on method request, click on URL query string parameters. And here we will say add query string and we are going to pass receipt handle that is receipt. It's received basically receipt handle and click on the stick mark. We will mark it as required because without receipt handle, we won't be able to delete the message from the queue, right? Now, once you are done with this, navigate to integration request. Again, URL query string parameters. Here we are going to add two query string parameters that is action as usual. So we will say action, what action we want to perform. That's going to be the delete message. 
it will be in single quote delete message click on the stick mark and another query string parameter is going to be the receipt handle and from where we will get the value of this that is from method dot request dot query string dot receipt handle it's receipt handle by the way and click on this tick mark and i think we are done with the configuration of the delete method right so now we will go ahead and deploy this so click on action say deploy api select the deployment stage that is version one in my case and say deploy now once this is deployed uh, we are good to test it so copy this invocation url navigate to postman now here i will say pist slash resource name that is sqs and the method is going to be delete now here we need to pass on the query string parameter that is received handle now from where we will get the value of received handle so if we look at the flow of the sqs uh, queue then we will have the message within sqs queue then we will fetch that message or we will get that message we will process that message and then we will delete it right so we need to check whether we have the messages within the queue or not if not then i think we need to post the message so we have zero messages available right now so we need to put in some message here so i will open a new tab and i will paste the invocation url over here followed by sqs query string message board equal to hello and we will say post and we will say send and the message is stored successfully let's pass one more send now we should have two messages within the queue let's check so here we have two messages as available within this queue and now we will go ahead and fetch the message so again i will open a new tab I'll paste the invocation URL followed by SQS. We will say visibility timeout as 30, maximum number of message as one maybe, and get, and we will say send. And here we have the message. So here if you see, then we are getting the receipt handle. So this receipt handle we need to pass on as a query string in order to delete the message successfully so we will go back to the delete method and we will pass on that information over here receipt handle equal to whatever the string is and we will say send it says uh, receipt handle is invalid so i think uh, we need to encode this so right click on that say encode uri component and say send again and as you can see uh, the message is being deleted successfully now if we go ahead and look at the sqs then we will have only one message is available right and zero messages in flight now again if we go ahead and execute the get method first so let's say send and here we have the another message that is hello let's copy this receipt handle and go back to delete method paste the value over here say encode uri component and we will say send now we have this status code 200 again and now if we go ahead and reload this the message available is zero right so well uh, this is how you can delete the message from the sqs queue using api gateway right but apart from the receipt handle, you can also pass in other parameters like version, expires, right?
So well, that's all I wanted to cover in this tutorial. And till that time, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.